Hello, this is Gigi, and this is another video for the price action corner of theboringtrader.com. Today we are going to look at something quite different, um, and it's uh, something that happened recurrently throughout the week, and we will still talk about uh, the DAX. Uh, today is the 25th of March. This is the whole week of the DAX, and uh, I highlighted these four points here. <clears throat> These are at, um, at the London Open, and as you can see, there are enormous pin bars. And um, what happened here is um, quite interesting, and if you actually look at the market properly and, and with a lot of focus, uh, you can find opportunities uh, uh, very, very quickly, if you can take them. What happened is that at the very uh, beginning of the London Open, uh, the market was dumped quite heavily, uh, quite massively, and uh, the first protocol for the bulls to um, react was this level here. And uh, we know now, at the end of the week, how this level was always uh, very important and was always respected, even if we had quite a lot of battles around here. So how would you uh, exploit this kind of thing? Well, to be honest, I didn't exploit the first one because I, I didn't expect it. Um, but we're going to look at it uh, in any case. This is the first one on the 22nd, the one that I didn't tra take. Uh, as you see, the market went down quite a lot, and there was this doji uh, at the level. I would have preferred actually the level to be penetrated a bit, given the fact that there is this big momentum. But anyway, uh, the market went down. Uh, there was a kind of reaction uh, the bears didn't show that they could actually touch again this um, level here. And so the, the thing to do would have been to put uh, a buy order here. Let me see if I can show it. Here. Uh, with a quick scalp. The... Um, first protocol always when you have a, a huge breakout like this is the breakout point this is the breakout point which coincides by the way with this support here during the night so at the very least you take this one and your first target should be this one and of course, your second target should be this one. And then the market went up anyway. The second day, the same happened, but I was a little bit more prepared. Um, and if you see here, there's not uh, a lot of chances to take this. So uh, when I do this scalping, very, very quick scalping, I I prefer to move into a one-minute chart to see if, if I have better opportunities. And sure enough, on the one-minute chart, uh, you see this classic pin bar on the penetration of this level that we've seen before with a very, very high volume. And so, as before, you just enter here and, um, well, you have a choice here because you have a pivot point here which actually uh, acted as a sort of stop for uh, the, the recovery of the bulls. Uh, but really, this is what I was looking for. A retest of the breakout point. And again, this happened. This is more interesting. This is on the 24th. This is again a one-minute chart. Uh, 
what happened here is that there is a pin bar it's this one here I hope you can see it this one here uh, my entry would have been at this level here luckily it wasn't uh, touched so I, I wasn't filled on this one uh, luckily because the market then went down and actually penetrated this level here however noticed how just before that level there is this line here this is S1 is, is one of the pivots and if you enter here your stop should have been really below the S1 here uh, the other thing is that um, if you entered here uh, what you do is you you want the market to retest this level here which is the breakout level the market did it and then retraced so if you take uh, out your first target and then move the stop to break even you would have been taken out here uh, this is just by pure luck I didn't put the stop up at break even because I was busy doing other things and so I actually had my first target and then the second target very lucky um, occurrence usually markets are not this generous and this is today and today I was caught uh, I thought well surely it doesn't happen today as well but it did and this is my pin bar at the right place on um, this level which was the level where the other markets stopped the, the other days the market stopped uh, this was my entry and immediately the market went down here now uh, my stop was below this level here and it was a stupid place to put the stop but it was the only place to put the stop because to put the stop here would have been actually a, a little bit um, inefficient you would have risked this to test this and um, also the uh, space between where you enter and the pivot here this, this is pivot point and which is also the breakout point is very very slow uh, very very uh, small uh, so basically this was a loss you can't win it all the time but when I saw this one here I re-entered at this level here with a first target here and the second target here actually originally my second target was about this level here but then I move it up here so um, a bit scary here at this particular level this 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 was really the same as uh, the other days the other days this worked and this day it didn't work but you really have to keep your focus and see if there are other opportunities and in this case look at this volume here as well the volume has increased so there's quite a lot of battles and and uh, there is a strong will from the bulls to move up uh, so uh, after that sorry I want to show this as well you see this big wick so the bulls actually went up quite aggressively the bears tried to stop them and they, they tried to push the market down on this wick here but they couldn't manage to um, leave this small level here and not even test this level here so that was the the, the sign to en to enter at this level here there was a lot of battle here and and you have to keep your nerves but eventually it, it worked out so this is another example on how um, 
price action can, can help you taking the opportunities as they present themselves. Um, but this actually came out because I was observing the, f the previous days this strange behavior. And, and so I decided to have a closer look and, um, and it worked out quite well. I hope it was helpful. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye.